Justin Trudeau criticizes right-wing parties, accusing them of using anger, fear, division, and unrest for political gain. He expresses concern about the global rise of populist right-wing forces. We have seen uh, around the world a rise of uh, uh, populist uh, right-wing forces in just about every democracy uh, that we've seen. And um, it is of concern to see uh, political parties choosing to instrumentalize anger, fear, division, anxiety. Um, my approach has always been um, to respond to it, to understand it, and to look to solve it, to roll up our sleeves, work hard, and with ambition for this country and for our future. And I continue to be um, convinced that Canadians are thoughtful about the challenges we're facing and uh, ready to see them solved, rather than just allow themselves to be uh, have their anger uh, amplified uh, without any solutions offered. However, Trudeau's remarks can be seen as dismissive of legitimate populist concerns. Populist movements often arise from the political elite's neglect of ordinary people's problems. By categorizing these movements as mere exploitation of negative emotions, Trudeau may seem out of touch with the real grievances driving populism. Populism reflects genuine dissatisfaction with current policies and governance, and dismissing these concerns as manipulation overlooks the root causes of their support. People want practical solutions to social problems. Is Trudeau working hard and offering solutions? Perhaps, but the public may question the authenticity of his approach. The current government's policies might have fueled the anger and division Trudeau criticizes, appearing more focused on gaining support and benefits through taxpayers' money. There is an urgent need for policies that directly address economic issues, security, and national identity, which are at the heart of populist support.